Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Space Engine VR, a game released on the Steam Store today for the HTC Vive Oculus Rift and Windows Mixed Reality. It normally retails for $24.99. However, it's currently on special promotion, 25% off. And I bought it for 25% off because I wanted to support development of this game. And of course, I'm a big VR enthusiast. I want to just check this out in VR and see if it's better than Overview or possibly Universe Sandbox. Uh, keep in mind, if you're not interested in VR, you can download the prior version of this software for free from the spaceengine.org website. So I would recommend going there and I'll put a link on my website where you can uh, link on my video where you can download that for free. Uh, the VR implementation for this software unfortunately is not very good. <laughs> I wanted to use my touch controllers. I wanted to show video of that but it was so bad that I just couldn't and I'm sorry. It, I tried. I just didn't get it. It was too clunky. I couldn't do anything with motion controllers. So I had to settle for using keyboard and mouse, which is not a problem, except that it's, even that's difficult in this game in VR. Now I did try the non-VR version and it was smooth navigation. I had no issues at all doing whatever I wanted to do with the non-VR version using keyboard and mouse. But in VR, I found it very difficult for several reasons. But the main one is that mouse cursor would just end up God knows where, and I had difficulties finding it uh, on a regular basis. So, to me, regardless of whether you choose motion controllers or whether you use keyboard and mouse, it's going to be difficult. Plus, a lot of the keyboard shortcuts, which obviously are easy to do when you're looking at the keyboard, are just difficult to do when you're when you have your headset on and you just have to memorize where on the keyboard are these keys. And some of these keys are functions that you just would never are keys that you just wouldn't use, like the function keys and whatnot. So keep that in mind. It, VR is not implemented the best in this game. I hope that changes. Uh, obviously, it's just early access, so I hope that's a focus of theirs, is just making the VR experience a lot better. Because right now, the navigation is pretty bad, and when you have bad navigation, it kind of ruins the whole game. I did enjoy the visuals. I thought they were really good. Um, I wouldn't call it photorealistic, that's the word used on the store page, and I would not call it that. Obviously, I've never seen uh, these planets from space, so uh, I, wouldn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but at the same time, just, I, and I did download that high-definition texture pack, so I did do that. It's a big download, but I downloaded all the HD texture packs available. But when, you're, when I'm actually seeing it on my 1060 GTX uh, in VR, it, it just didn't look the best. It's not the best I've ever seen. Uh, but hopefully, again, that's something that they work on improving uh, optimization. Um, maybe with a better rig, you would get a better experience. I can only report on what I experienced on my 1060 GTX. Um, I also just found it difficult to to know where you wanted to go. Uh, there's just so much to do here, so many places to visit, so many different things you can do, and it can be a little bit too much, especially if you haven't had prior experience using the Space Engine uh, software. So if you never used it before, you might just find it the interface just a little too difficult to use because it's definitely not intuitive. Um, and if you don't know much about space or if you don't know much about this software, you might be confused of where, how do I get to where I want to go? Uh, luckily, uh, in this release, there are several, uh, things available that you can open up and just experience by opening the different experiences, such as, you know, seeing the volcanoes or seeing the, the earth or getting uh, the surface of the moon. So all those experiences are easily available just by uh, clicking on the planetarium and then clicking on load. Now, as far as the spaceship that you've seen or the space shuttle that you've seen on the store page, I couldn't get that to work in VR. I was never in a space shuttle in VR. I don't know if that's just not available on in VR 
when I did click on it, I was always in the same uh, first person view that I was always in. So I don't know if that's just something for non-VR that you can see and play with and just not available in VR currently. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Now, uh, some of you might remember a prior title called Overview, also based on the space engine. And I actually prefer Overview currently over Space Engine, which I never would have believed that would be the case. But currently I would say Overview is much better, especially if you're a novice, if you're not familiar with the Space Engine software, definitely Overview is just easier to use. Um, motion controllers are much, intu much more intuitive in Overview. And I was kind of expecting that for Space Engine for them just to borrow what was in overview, but they didn't seem to have done that. And it's just way too clunky in Space Engine right now. So if you're not sure on Space Engine, you just might want to pick up overview. Uh, I, I really liked overview a lot. And that's just a sliver of the thing that space of all the things that Space Engine can do. But definitely if you're a novice, if you're new to this whole thing, or if you just a you just have a casual interest in space, that might be enough for you because it's just a whole lot easier to use and you don't have to worry about messing around with the space engine. Uh, there's also uh, Universe Sandbox and also I think Universe Sandbox is currently better than Space Engine. I just think it's a lot easier to use and there's so many different experiences already available on Universe Sandbox compared to what's available with Space Engine because the Space Engine currently it's a little limited in the experiences that are you can just go to from the menu but Space Engine definitely it's an early access and I do expect it to get a lot better it will probably be the best space exploration space physics software for VR in the future but right now it's not there so right now you're buying it just to support I'm Fast Lawyer I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews thank you for watching have a wonderful day Goodbye.